Hi, it's Russ from Protos Expert, and I've got myself a copy of Studio Rack from Waves. And now they made a number of announcements yesterday. Some of them were paid for, but if you're a Waves upgrade, a WUP, the Waves upgrade plan owner, then you can download Studio Rack for free. And this allows you to do a number of things, and I'm going to show you what they are now. So basically, it's a way of hosting a number of plugins in the same plugin slot within Pro Tools. So, for example, I've gone here to multi-channel native plugin waves and then studio rack stereo that now means I've got all these slots I can use here and I've got Sheps 73 on the first one real ADT on the second one and H delay on the third one as one channel strip and a number of things I can do as well so I can come here and at the moment you've got assignments here so I can right mouse click disconnect that assignment and for example let's say I want to assign it on these quick keys so if I want to get stuff quick I want to get to the feedback quickly I can right mouse, I can right mouse click on here go to H there feedback and now that controls that or I could go to another one I could go to the real ADT and I could go to right mouse click here real ADT very speed range and you see there that as I move it here they're moving as well so I can assign those so that's the first thing I can do and so now I've got this guitar part and it's going through that it's going through the, the Sheps the real ADT and the H delay bring them in and out So the first thing that's really useful for Pro Tools users, of course, is that we're creating channel strips and we can save those to single strips. So I can save that now and go save and I can save it to uh, put preset, put it in the preset menu. I could save it as Russ's guitar. So that's now save that as Russ's guitar. So that's in there. So whenever I want to use it, I can just load it in in my user presets there. And if I wanted to, let's say, for example, I wanted to could drag that down there instead add a plugin in there plugin list compressors dynamics I could go for uh, let's say the for this example the Renaissance AAX and uh, and put that in as well and we could save that uh, again save as Russ guitar comp so they're all saved now. So when I'm using Pro Tools, when I want to do anything, if I come to an insert now, I can just simply come, Native Waves, Studio Rack, Load, Rust Guitar, and there it is. Now that's cool in of itself, but what's even more cool is that if I'm swapping this session with another session, so if or if I'm going to another studio with or working with a collaborator who's working, let's say, Logic, if I switch to Logic now, Here's the same guitar part. If I come to my plugins now, I come down, audio units, waves, studio rack, and I go load. There's my presets. So I've got a consistency of presets and they're cross door compatible now so I've not got to think oh I've saved that as a preset in Pro Tools and I've saved that as a preset in Logic and I've got to go and figure it all out again and copy them all across this is a cross door compatible way of doing your favorite plugins now the uses straight away are really useful uh, of course for channel strips it's cool for mastering in particular it's cool because you create a nice mastering chain if you're using Waves plugins uh, and then you can uh, then obviously bring that chain in straight away so it's going to be very useful for that uh, I think I may be uh, wrong about this, but my understanding is that they may be opening this up to third party vendors as well. So you can plug their stuff in as well. But for now, if I'm wrong on that, then Waves will correct me or somebody will correct me. Of course they will. It's YouTube. But uh, if even if it's not, if you're a Waves user and a heavy Waves user, then this is a great plugin to download and use. The other thing I want to say at the moment is that we've... We seem to, uh, since we tried to test this, we've seemed to have found uh, a problem that means if you try and load it into Pro Tools at the moment, it doesn't always show up. So I have an assurance from Waves that they're working on that right away. But in the meantime, that's how it works. It's as simple and straightforward as that. 
I think it's great for Pro Tools users to have channel strips that you can save. It's also great for cross-platform compatibility between doors. I think the more that we see that in the future of audio, so we're not just tied to Pro Tools or we're not just tied because most of us don't work like that or tied to, to uh, as I say, Reaper or Cubase or Logic, the better it is for everybody. And, and the more that brands go this way to make it cross-platform compatible, the better. I, I think a big thumbs up. And as I say, you could, if you're a, a, a Whoop user, you can download it straight away and use it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.